Hi friends, today we're gonna show you the differences between two very popular house plants that often get mistaken for one another. One is the potos and the other one is the philodendron, specifically the heartleaf philodendron. If you're new here, my name is Larissa and in this channel we try to make plant parenting easier by explaining how plants work. So, these are the two plants we are comparing today. In here we have a potos and we chose the jade potos because it's the most solid green potos we have out there. And in here we have a philodendron, specifically a heartleaf philodendron, because these are the two similar individuals of each genus. And looking up close, you can already see a lot of differences, but these two plants get mistaken a lot. And if you see a list of like the most popular photos plants out there, you often gonna see the heartleaf philodendron in it, because I think in the past, the potos was a nickname for every vining plant that has a structure that is similar to this. If you want to know the difference between a potos and a philodendron, the first thing you need to look at is the new growth. In the potos, the new leaves almost come from the inside of the last leaf, or at least the inside of the petiole of the last leaf. So you're going to see that uh, we have the last leaf here and the the new leaf is forming, like detaching from the inside of that stem or like of that petiole. In the philodendron is a different story. So first they extend a vine. This vine turns itself into a leaf and to protect this new leaf, they have something called cataphyll. And this is very particular of uh, philodendrons. The cataphyll is this, it's almost like a leaf structure. They can photosynthesize and all but their main job is to protect the new leaf. So when the new leaf is already fully formed and developed, this cataphyll will go old, will go brown and fall off. So if you see a lot of brown, tiny leaves in the bases of the new leaves, that's a philodendron for sure. Speaking of young leaves, one of the main differences is also the color of the new leaf. In the photos, you're going to see that they are bright green and they might be even already variegated. The photo is variegated, but they always a light shade of green compared to the overall look of the plant. In the philodendron, a lot of new growth comes a little bit pinkish or brownish or reddish, depending on the variety. Even if the plant is completely green, it happens that the new leaves are kind of brown or reddish, and when they grow older, they become completely green. So that's another way to spot the differences. Let's talk about the leaf itself, like the properties of the leaf. First of all, if you look at the photos, you're going to see that the leaves are kind of glossier, shinier, and the philodendron, the leaves are more like mate, if you may. Also, if you touch both leaves, you have like photos and a philodendron at home and you touch the leaves, you're going to notice that in the photos, the surface is a little bit rougher and the leaf is a little bit thicker. And the philodendron, usually the leaves are thinner and smoother. And also when it comes, uh, the shape of the leaf is very interesting because the potos has almost like uh, the leaf in the shape of a drop. The philodendron has more the shape of a heart. Let's talk about the stems. So the stems in the potos are usually green. If you have a variegated potos, the stem can be variegated as well, but always green and white, and maybe some yellow. And the stem is thicker and it has these indentations in it. If you like touch it, you're gonna see kind of like a, a celery. Sometimes they have like some dried parts of it uh, where the new leaf emerge. In the philodendron, the petioles and the stems are thinner and sometimes they're in a shade of brownish, pinkish, reddish, especially uh, when it comes to the new leaf petioles. So let's talk roots now. Both plants have aerial roots because they're both climbing plants. They're gonna attach itself to any tree they can find. And in the photos, you notice that everything is thicker and more robust. And the same thing goes for the aerial roots. 
So in each node, you're gonna see one or two IRL roots in the photos. And these roots are usually thicker and they have this rough surface uh, already in the beginning, even when they are not fully developed. In the philodendron, the aerial roots are thinner and instead of one or two, you have like groups of three or four little thinner, uh, delicate roots. Like the plant overall is like thinner, uh, smoother and less robust. That's all we have for today. I hope you learned something from this video. And if you want to know more about the different potos varieties out there, we have a video with 10 potos varieties right here. And thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.